Hey everybody, welcome to Race Face TV. We've got a special show for you tonight because we're going to be going live to Charlotte, North Carolina to Rev Racing's shop where we're going to find Race Face driver and NASCAR Canyon Pro Series driver Ryan Vargas. Hey Ryan, welcome to the show. Thank you guys for having me again. I mean, I'm really enjoying being out here in North Carolina. I'm really liking it out here. Well, that's maybe part of the biggest news that's going on is what was the move like? And now you are no longer a California resident. I mean, you'll always be a California resident, but you are now living in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, I honestly, I love it out here. Everything about it out here is just so nice. I mean, everything's, I mean, even just the whole area here is just so much nicer. And I mean, there are three things that I will miss about California, and that is the beach, the weather, and of course, in and out Those are the three that I'll miss. <laughs> I saw that on your Facebook post. It was the you taking that picture at the In N Out Burger saying, I'm really gonna miss this. Well, you got welcome to North Carolina by a snowstorm. Saw you making snow angels out in the uh in the parking lot of the shop. So uh it, it's just gotta be a big change, but I know that it's gotta be exciting for for that move and, and to be now in the in the center of all of racing that's going on, especially for the NASCAR side. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, right down the street is Hendrick. Right next door to the rev shop is Le uh, Levine Family Racing. So, I mean, everywhere around here is racing. I mean, Charlotte Motor Speedway is a good walk down that way. And as we're speaking right now, I hear the trucks on the track doing their testing. So it's really neat being right in the center of it all. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. So from the last time that we've had you on the show, um, I guess the big breaking news in Ryan Vargas's life is that you won the NASCAR diversity program. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, I back. I got. I got accepted to the NASCAR Drive for Diversity program this year, and you know now I'm here. I'm racing on Rev Racing this year, so I'm very happy to be here. I know going into the next few years, if you know something didn't work out and I was stuck doing late models, it was going to be a lot harder for my family and I to be able to afford racing. So having this opportunity come up is really is really helping us a lot. Right. Well, Ryan, I want to I want to touch on one thing just real quick, and I know this that we didn't talk about this prior to the show, but Explain to possibly some of the young drivers that are watching today how important it is to be brandable and marketable because I know that that really helped you kind of solidify this deal. We knew that we always knew that Ryan had the talent, you had the ability, but I think where you really shined in one of these things was when it came down to the marketing and the branding side of that and everything that you do on social media. I mean, of course. I mean, you have to. There's, there has to be another reason why a team wants to pick you. You can go out there and win however many races you want and lead all these laps and qualify on pole all these times. But, I mean, another driver can be doing that same thing as well. So you got to do something different from them, and you got to give them a reason to want you. Yeah, well, you do a great job in that. We're, I'm, always, I'm always bragging on you when it comes to that aspect. And, and then... I think out of the blue, um, I, I think you expected it, but then you were the first person to win the Trailblazer Award for two years in a row. So that had to be another big um, kind of feather in your cap. Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, to, I mean, legacy of Wendell Scott is unbelievable. I mean, to be the first person to actually break the racial barrier in NASCAR and race in a time when really people of another race, basically people of color, were not supposed to, in quote, quote unquote, and he really broke down barriers for people for minority drivers and to have that to carry that legacy and have almost to receive an award in his name is unbelievable and not only that but to receive it twice is crazy to me <laughs> yeah that's very cool so what does a typical day in the life of ryan vargas look like now that you're in charlotte um, instead of being in california well, it's a lot colder, that's for sure. It involves a lot more jackets. <laughs> um, but no, it definitely, um, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I get up in the morning, I get here at around 7, 45, 8 in the morning, and I just hang out, make sure everybody's, I don't need to do anything real quick. And if I don't, then I'll hit the gym for probably about a 35, 45 minutes to an hour. And then I'll go from there and I'll just try to give help when I can or do what I can when, when needed. And really just try to enjoy my time here because I know that I'm, I know that this is going to be a really big step in my racing career and I want to make sure I live it out to the fullest. Now, I know that you've also been doing some stuff with NASCAR. I know that you were involved with a, a NASCAR seminar here, I think maybe last week. And I know that was really pretty cool. 
Yeah, it was really fun. I mean, that dri the driver develop seminar was really awesome. I mean, they even had Dale Jr. there talking, and me and him actually talked for a good ten minutes about just about how to how to make yourself a driver that people want to be with. And it was really awesome to hear his insight. And I really got to learn the Dale Jr. effect. I mean, I tweeted a photo of him on Twitter, and he liked it. And on Twitter, if people don't know, you could see what people like. So when people saw Dale Jr. liked my post, they kept liking it and liking it and liking it. And when you had Junior Nation basically attack my post, it reached somewhere over 200-something likes, and it's probably the most engaged post I've ever put on Twitter. So the Dale Jr. effect is real, and it's awesome. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. So, uh, well, I mean, again, you know, what, at 14, 15 years in a row, NASCAR's most favorite driver. I don't think there's anybody out there any more famous than him. And to be able to hang out with him, I mean, that's, uh, I, I mean, if you look back five, six years ago, did you ever think that you'd be standing there that day in the midst of everything that's going on in your life? Uh, I mean, th this is the big time. I mean, that, I mean, really it is. I mean, years ago when I started racing in the Bandoleros and the street stocks and stuff, it was, it was really like you, having a dream, but it was very far out of reach. Now, literally within the span of November to now, my entire life has changed. I mean, I went from being just the late model racer from California. Now I'm on a K&N team and I have a full-time ride right now. And that's something I never dreamed of having because our family, I mean, we, <laughs> we never were able to afford something like this. So, to ha like I said, to have the opportunity that NASCAR Drive for Diversity, Max Siegel, and Rev Racing up opened up for me, it's it's really a blessing, and I'm very very blessed to have this. Well, at the end of the day, you earned it. So let's don't. Uh, I know that you may not want to, you know, brag on yourself, but the bottom line is you did earn this. You worked very hard. You got yourself in shape. Uh, you were amazing when it came, again, as we talked earlier about the social media and being marketable and getting out there, engaging with the fans. And then, of course, uh, as we spoke earlier, again, we all knew you had the talent on the track. So uh, well, I, I saw that in the, in the tests that we did, you know, earlier in the year. But now let's talk about the new look for Ryan yes. Vargas, the new number. Uh, so we're going we're gonna, to, as you talk, we're going to actually show a picture of your new rendering of your car that you're going to be piloting uh, for the 2018 season. Yeah, the car came out absolutely phenomenal. My teammate, Chase Cabry, he does all the graphics for the team here at Rev. So he did an absolute phenomenal job on not just my car, but all the cars. And we have UTI as the title sponsor on the car. They sponsor the whole team, but on my car, they are the title sponsor. So we got kind of the red, white, and blue going on. And I'll be driving the number two this year. And it's pretty... It's awesome. And I can't wait to see what the car actually looks like in person and to see my name above above the window on that car. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Well, let's talk about what that 2018 season is gonna look like for you because it's not only gonna include the, the NASCAR KN Pro series, but it's also going to include the late model series. So let's talk just a little bit about each one of them. Um, the NASCAR KN series first, what that means to you, what's gonna be different and some of the tracks that you're going to be running at on the K&N series that you're looking forward to. Yeah, I mean, I'm very excited for this year. I mean, there's a tons of racing going on this year, tons of racing. Um, I'm main, I'm really excited to get to New Smyrna because I liked that track when I did the testing with Leaf Falk and when we did the combine there. Um, and it's just a really fun track. It reminds me a lot of Kern. It's a very aged Kern is what I'd like to call it. So I have a really good, I have really high hopes going into my first race, which is, I'm not not trying to sound like overconfident, but I'm just feel I feel very uh, confident going in though. Um, I'm also very excited to start going to South Boston, Langley Speedway, and all those other tracks with the late model stock because those cars are just a blast to drive. Those late model stock cars. I had a blast when I got like I said back with the Lee Falk test, and it was um those cars are really fun to whip around. So it's going to be a lot of fun to drive at those tracks. So I know you've done some testing at New Smyrna, like you said, you've been there for the combine. But what are you doing to really get yourself prepared for that big first K&N debut for Ryan Vargas when you walk out there and say, hey, NASCAR Nation, here I am, and you're going to have to deal with me because I, I know that, 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 number one, you're a very smart driver. Number two, I know that you're very good when it comes to not tearing up equipment, and that's going to make the people at Rev Racing 
uh, really happy, not only Max, but all the guys in the body shop and everything like that. But, but what are you doing mentally to get yourself prepared for that first big race? Well, one thing for me is I'm just trying to make sure that I keep up my fitness as well because I've never done races over 150 laps. And this year, I mean, the first race of the year, from what I've read, at least, I'm not 100% sure, but it said 175 laps for the first first race of the year. And that's something that I've never done, something over really 100 laps. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited to get into those longer races. And another thing for me is going to be just making sure that I don't get too confident or get too comfortable. What I mean by that is I don't want to go into these races and think that I'm I'm the guy to beat. I'm definitely not the guy to beat, at least yet. I still have a lot to prove. And also, I don't want to be too comfortable because I know that there's a lot of people that would definitely love to be in the position that I'm in. So I know I got to work at least I got to work harder than I ever have before to keep running well. Well, I, I don't have any doubts that you're going to do very well. Uh, again, you know, this first year K&N series, different car, different weight, different horsepower. Um, it's all going to be a learning service, uh, a learning uh, process, I should say. And, uh, and that's kind of what driver development's all about. So um, let's talk about, are, you, are there any plans that you have between now and New Smyrna that you'd like to share? Uh, well, actually, this weekend I'll be racing with AK Performance. They're uh, linked with the Rev Racing's Legend Program, and I'll be doing I'll be doing the Winter Heat Series race this weekend at the speed at the Charlotte Motor Speedway on a road course. Um, and I know there's not any road course races until probably about the summertime, um, but I definitely know I need to get some road course experience underneath me because if we if we are hopefully in a good position going into those road course races, I don't want them to be. Uh, I guess you could say. Um, something bad, something that I don't want to look forward to. So I want to be able to go in there, have confidence that I'm at least going to come out of there with a good run. Yeah, I think that's very, very smart. Well, Ryan, I know this. I know that we're going to invite people to come and take a look at your website tonight. Uh, we just did some major uh, color enhancements and revamp to kind of give it that new look. So everybody make sure that you go out and you check out RyanVargasRacing.com. Make sure to go to Ryan's Facebook page, like his page. And Ryan, we've got some new selfie frames that are in the filter section when you go to Facebook. So if you go to Facebook, you want to do a selfie, uh, do that, go down to the bottom, pick out the filter, have your picture put into one of Ryan's frames and then share it on his Facebook page. So Ryan, again, I want to thank you for being with us. Is there anything that you want to say to kind of wrap up the end of the show before we take off? I mean, I just want to definitely say I'm very thankful for everything right now. I mean, I can't really stress that enough. I mean, this whole this whole opportunity that's been that I've been very blessed to have right now, it's it's really a life changing experience so far. And I know going into the next year with Rev Racing, it's going to be a lot of learning, but also a lot more of hard work. So it's I'm definitely looking forward to it. Well, again, Ryan, good luck. Uh, we're definitely going to be keeping tabs on you all year. So uh, we're really proud of you here at Race Face Brand Development. We're we're glad to be a part of what. Uh, hopefully it's going to be an amazing NASCAR career. We're really excited for you. And again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. And we'll see you back here um, in our next Race Face Driver Update. Everybody go out and have a great evening. Thanks for tuning in. If you're a fan of the show, make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, then click on subscribe. Want to catch up on some episodes that you might have missed? Then tap on demand. That's it for this week, and as always, go out and support racing at your local track.